Today we're gonna to be talking about solar generators. Do you need it? Which one do you get? Why would you need one? We're gonna talk about that today. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Big Man Overland. As I said, my name is Aaron and today we're going to be talking about solar generators, power banks and solar panels, things that you might need to power your next trip. We're going to be talking about two different solar generators. So let me get the first one that I ever purchased as we were preparing to go out and camp. Got this off of Amazon. Boom. Look at this thing. So cute. It's a flash fish. This thing is a 300 watt solar generator. Pretty impressive considering how small it is. The solar fish does have a really nice display so you press that button and that lets you know how much power you have and that we're powering off of DC. Now it doesn't have the traditional cigarette lighter plug um, so you'll have to get adapters for anything that you might be running off of a cigarette lighter um, but it does have three USB ports which is nice. On the back side is your AC so you plug in and then you just flip this switch and the display will let you know that you are now operating off of your AC output. You can run off AC and DC just by simply pressing that button. When we started going and overlanding and camping, uh, I needed something to power my CPAP machine. I am a big guy. I struggle to breathe at night. And so the CPAP keeps me alive. What can I say? Now, if you have a, a CPAP machine, a breathing machine that you use at night, beware that this doesn't last all that long. You can get two nights, but you have to turn off your heated tube if you have that option, and you have to turn off the humidifier. If you don't, this will maybe last you about six hours if you are lucky. We also use this to charge three Amazon Fire tablets that our kids have. Uh, because if you have children, you know, if you go anywhere, you're taking an electronic device. Um, I know we're going out into the wilderness, into the mountains and the forest. We need to stop and turn those things off. But if you say that, you don't have children. So, this is what we upgraded to. We upgraded to this sucker, this behemoth. The Goal Zero Yeti 400. So they have a lithium version now, but this is like a normal car battery type version. Um, but it works fantastically. It's got ports here on the side where you can daisy chain more batteries to it. It's got two proprietary Goal Zero uh, DC outputs. Um, these are for lights and things like that that Goal Zero makes. You have your traditional 12 volt DC. Uh, cigarette adapter. You have two USB ports, uh, which is wonderful to have. And then you've got your two 110 volt uh, normal shore power type plugs, uh, which is just awesome to have. And these have a built-in inverter. Uh, so you don't need to have an extra inverter. You got it right there. So uh, it's a wonderful device. I love this thing. Um, it lasts for a very long time. I'm able to keep my refrigerator running all night long and into the day. I can charge my camera, my gimbal, cell phone, tablets, laptop, things like that. Um, but what I also uh, purchased with this, which is an optional accessory, is that right there that is the boulder 100 suitcase they have a boulder 50 uh 50 watt um, but i went with the bigger behemoth the 100 watt briefcase um, because as i'm going out on trips and overlanding i need something that can juice this up as fast as possible now another nice thing about this one versus the lithium because there's two the battery and lithium this one you can run off of the 12 volt system in your car you can't do that with the lithium you have to charge it up from home and run it off of solar that's it so i can charge this while i'm driving get a full charge having my refrigerator plugged into this as we're going so the fridge is always on i'm not having to move plugs around and then when i get to my site i just unplug this from the car 
and it begins to run off of this. Um, and I can plug in solar panels to it. It has a really great display with it. It's got, tells you what your wattage input is, your output, uh, and then also your battery life on it. So it lets you know in stages how much of your battery life is left. Do you need this big of a system if you're just powering a CPAP machine or some tablets, computer, your iPhone? No. You can get away with something small and simple like this, the Flash Fish, which is really, it is a great system, and I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you to check this out. We did purchase a 50 watt solar panel briefcase to go with this, so we're able to power both of these, uh, which is wonderful. So if you are looking to power a CPAP machine, or you're looking for something to power your iPhone, your cell phone, mobile devices, laptop, this is a great option to go with. But if you're running a refrigerator, CPAP, camera gear, computer equipment, things like that, you're gonna to wanna to look into something bigger like this Goal Zero Yeti 400. And like I said, look into getting yourself the optional solar panel. Uh, it's nice to have, again, this is the Boulder 100 suitcase. There's a Boulder 50, which is just one panel versus two. Um, they are very nice, very sturdy, um, aluminum frame, uh, and they come with a kickstand, which is also very nice. You can take a look at all the specs down in the description. I've linked out to everything that you might need to know, as well as to these products and the solar panels that we use with these. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Big Man Overland as we talk about the Goal Zero Yeti 400. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, hit that subscribe button, make sure you share, and as always, adventure is calling. Are you going to answer?